Welcome back to Drinks Made Easy, because cocktails don't have to be difficult. Now today we're taking a look at one of my favorite old classics, the Pisco Sour. This comes out of Lima in 1903, contrary to what the common hell belief was, was Victor Morris making it in the 20s in Lima, Peru. Now it's a great cocktail, but the problem is you have to dry shake it for a long time. Then you need to wet shake it for a long time. And if you skimp on any of that, it doesn't really come out very well. The solution? A blender. Because if you f up blending something, you need more help than I can give you. To build the blended Pisco sour, you'll start with two ounces of Pisco. Next, you'll add three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. If you can get key limes, use key limes. It's always a little bit sweeter and it's really great. Three quarters of an ounce simple syrup. One egg white. And six small cubes of ice, or if you have large format cubes, uh, two large format cubes. And then blend until integrated. Pour into the large sour glass or glass of your choice. And by integration, basically just wait until you can't hear the ice moving around in the blender anymore. And then if you choose, add a couple little dots of Angostura bitters. Some people prefer the Pisco Sour without any bitters, but I think it's a nice little touch that if you have bitters, why not go ahead and use them? And easy as that, you have the blended, super easy Pisco Sour. One of the things I like best about using a blender to make any sort of sour is it's not gonna be overly diluted and because of all of those RPMs, basically, for, from the blender, you get something that's really soft and fluffy that no human is just ever gonna be able to make with a shaker tin. So, love it or hate it, try it, let us know what you think.